Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. 28-year-old Javon Bashford, otherwise called Bashi, from Big Lane in Central Village St. Catherine, has been slapped with 14 charges arising from an attack on Beryllium security guards in St. Thomas in April. St. James saleswoman, 20-year-old Tianja Reed, was on Tuesday charged in relation to the shooting death of a man in a staged car deal. 42-year-old Robert Harvey, otherwise called Priest, a tour guide driver and car salesman of Bogue Hill in Montego Bay, was killed on March 15. Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark has told Parliament that he was not aware his ministry blocked taxpayers from accessing a consultancy report that informed controversial new salaries implemented recently for public sector workers. Opposition leader Mark Golding, however, told Clark that the ministry's actions are not transparent and he should cause the ministry to reverse the decision. 14-year-old burn victim Akelia Dunkley has been flown to the United States to receive much-needed medical treatment. Ms. Dunkley sustained third-degree burns during a gas stove explosion at her home in burnt Savannah, St. Elizabeth, last Friday. In sports, there's a conflict brewing in the Reggae Girls camp involving Reggae Girls Ambassador Sidella Marley, Chairperson for Women's Football at Jamaica Football Federation Elaine Walker-Brown, and Head Coach Lorne Donaldson, just ahead of the World Cup in Australia and New Zealand. It's understood that Mrs. Walker-Brown was barred from the team bus recently after making comments Miss Marley found offensive. In your currency trading at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $155.33, the British pound sterling for $199.90, and the Canadian dollar for $119.36. In your weather forecast, Thursday will be partly cloudy. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram and like, comment and share on YouTube. I'm Jovan Johnson.